Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. Watch Andrea Andaloni from Milano in treating complex CBD stones by lithotripsy. In another hospital, they try to remove two big stones from the proximal biliary duct, as you can see from the slide. But uh, despite also the use of large balloon dilation, they didn't manage. Today, we are going to treat it with uh, lithotripsy using some new uh, scopes. I'm working today with the Boston Scientific uh, single-use scope. You can connect it with the classical CO2 system and you can bring it wherever you want and you are ready to use. I've already used the exalt system to reach the duodenum, and uh, with the spyglass uh, DS system, I try to enter Cuts. the uh, bile duct. With some water, I can show you. So now I am trying to get into the bile duct with the spyglass system that, as you can see, can be easily used without. Uh, guide wire, we are going to try to go inside without losing the position. So this is my spyglass scope that can be used as a scope or also as a catheter in order to reach the papilla. I don't want to go too close. So, Alessandro, if you can bring me also to the spyglass visualization. Yes. I okay. can oh, yes. show you that now we are inside okay. the bile duct. I don't know, George, if you can see the bile duct. Uh, and uh, a, a very nice view of, of a stone that is maybe a little bit more distal than we, we were expecting. You have different kinds of opportunity. This is one of them that is the electrohydraulic uh, uh, lithotripsy that I'm going to do it. So as soon as you get in front of the stones, you apply some water and then you start firing. See that? I don't know if you can see that the fiber is working pretty well. It's very important to keep it uh, away from your duodenoscope and from your spyglass scope in order to reduce the risk of damaging. But I yeah. think we have already so, started. Very, very nicely, uh, demonstrating that very nicely, uh, Andrea. I don't know if you can see the X-ray feature at the end of the procedure. We had to do two electrohydraulic uh, Lithotripsy with a great success. We did the control with the spy glass and then with balloon catheter. And this is the result. As you can see, in the distant part of the common bile duct, there is the stricture that I was speaking about. But in order to reduce the risk of possible cholangitis due for some fragments and the edema of the papilla, we're going to place a stent to protect this lady. Today we are going to place an uh, Archimedes biodegradable stent in order to reduce the need to, count, to call the patient back. We are going to place a slow degradation that is 11 weeks, more or less uh, three months. And as you can see, they can be loaded just as any other stand. I don't know if you can see in the endoscopy, you can see the Archimedes stand okay. Okay. that is slowly coming out from the operative channel. And then you can gently push the stand in. This is the helicoidal shape that allow the bile to flow either from the inside of the stent or from the outside. 
I am ready now to remove the guide wire. And if you can take a look endoscopically, you can see that the stent is fully released just now. You can uh, pretty much recognize the chain shape of it. And I think that the procedure is finished. The lady does not have any more stone in the common bile duct, but more important, she's not going to come back to remove the stent. Uh, so, uh, Andrea, you, yeah. you, case, can I just ask you very briefly, um, where, what uh, situations do you think the, these uh, uh, new biodegradable stents may find a role in the bile duct or the pancreatic duct? The main indication to me are post ERCP pancreatitis prevention. It is very interesting. You can place a fast degrading stent, that means two weeks, in order to reduce the risk of pancreatitis after ERCP. Second main indication is bile leak after cholecystectomy. And of course, in case like this, in order to reduce the risk of cholangitis or in patients, sick patients with risk of cholangitis. Here you see the patient's further clinical course. The next slide shows the instruments and devices used. And here we have Andrea Andaloni's recommended reading.